Get this, Friends is a TV show from three decades ago. Yep, feeling old yet? Good. However old that fact makes you feel though, it's probably not quite as old as many of the beloved characters from the show who have, tragically, passed away since its debut. With a star-studded list of cameos longer than the entire Lord of the Rings Extended Edition trilogy, there's been some incredible talent that graced that great sitcom and moved on to the great big coffee house in the sky. With Friends still remaining a frequently broadcast and relevant show even today, it's high time we pay a little tribute to many of the people who made it so. I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 12 Friends actors who are no longer with us. 12. Taylor Negron Negron started off in comedy while still in high school, before later making the move into acting. He made appearances in films such as The Last Boy Scout and Fast Times at Ridgemont High, while also making memorable guest appearances on a number of hit TV shows, including Seinfeld and ER. His last television credit was on The Comedians, alongside Billy Crystal. He was sadly diagnosed with cancer in 2008, and passed away aged just 57 at the beginning of 2015. He appeared in the Friends episode, the one where they're going to party, as Alessandro, the owner of the restaurant of the same name. He comes to complain when Monica writes a negative review of his restaurant, and ends up offering her a job as head chef. Although he didn't appear again, Monica did work at Alessandro's until season 9, so he was always a big part of the show. 11. Peter Dennis Peter Dennis enjoyed numerous roles across film and television, including the likes of Sideways and The Avengers, the non-Marvel one, but he'll be best known for performing the works of A.A. A. Milne on stage, which he did for 30 years in his one-man show Bother, The Brain of Pooh, and in various voice recordings for audiobooks. He was diagnosed with cancer in 2007 and passed away in 2009, aged 75. He played Sherman in The One Where No One's Ready. Once the gang finally get out of Monica's apartment and to Ross's function, he's the one who then has the last gag by taking Chandler's chair, telling them that he left the seating area. The episode also featured a nod to his work, with Chandler's line to Joey, in the words of A.A. A. Milne, get out of my chair, dillhole. 10. Paul Gleason. Gleason came to attention with a recurring role on long-running soap opera All My Children, playing Dr. David Thornton from 1976 to 78. After that, he went on to appear in a number of successful films in the 80s, with notable roles including Deputy Police Chief Dwayne T. Robinson in Die Hard, and of course Richard Vernon, the assistant principal who presides over detention in The Breakfast Club. He died of lung cancer in 2006, age 67. In the one that could have been part two, when Phoebe tries to return to work after her heart attack, it's up to Gleason's character Jack, her boss in this reality, to break the news to her, causing her to have yet another heart attack. 9. Beverly Garland With a career spanning 40 years, Beverly Garland appeared in a huge number of films and TV series, although mostly in smaller roles. Her two biggest were on My Three Sons as Barbara Harper Douglas, and Dottie West on Scarecrow and Mrs. King. She passed away in 2008, aged 82. In Friends, she played the no-nonsense Iris, aunt of Monica and Ross, who teaches the girls how to play poker so they can beat the boys in the one with all the poker. She wasn't particularly pleasant to the girls, displaying her cutting wit even in her brief appearance. 8. Audra Lindley Another on this list who had an extremely lengthy career, Lindley worked her way up the Hollywood ladder. She started as a stand-in, then a stunt woman, and finally started getting roles of her own. Her most recognised is that of Helen Roper, the landlady on the sitcom Three's Company, and later its spin-off, The Ropers. She passed away of leukaemia in 1997. She appeared in Friends in 1995, making it one of her final appearances on screen. In the one with Phoebe's dad, she plays Frances, the woman Phoebe believes to be her biological grandmother, although it later turned out that she was her adoptive grandparent instead. Although she only appeared in that one episode, Frances is mentioned throughout the first few seasons. She is the person Phoebe lived with, and it was from her she inherited the yellow taxi. 7. Elena Reed Hall an actress and singer, Elena Reed Hall is probably best known for her work on two long-running TV series, NBC sitcom 227, where she played Rose Lee Holloway, and Sesame Street, where she appeared as one of the human characters. She died of breast cancer aged 63 in 2009. She appeared in Friends in the season 1 episode, The One With Two Parts, Part 2. 
and her character wasn't actually given a name, instead credited as admissions woman. Although a small role, she managed to make it memorable with her slightly scary, very sassy hospital admissions woman, especially when it came to dealing with Monica, who was pretending to be Rachel at the time. 6. Gary Collins Although he had a number of film and TV roles, including a starring role in the series Iron Horse, Collins' fame mostly comes from hosting the talk show Our Magazine. He was nominated for a Daytime Emmy Award on six occasions for the program, winning once in 1984, and a year later he was awarded with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He passed away from natural causes in 2012, age 74. And in Friends, he played himself. Gary Collins played Gary Collins in the one where Phoebe hates PBS as the host of a telethon, a role Joey thinks he has before it turns out he's just one of the phone operators. He may have got the role ahead of Joey, but he is at least suitably impressed with his tux. 5. Phil Leeds Phil Leeds was a true character actor, mostly defined by his wizened features. Among the films and TV shows he appeared in are Ghost, Rosemary's Baby, and Ali McBeal. He looked just like the kind of person you'd expect to find in a New York neighborhood, which made him a great fit for a small role in Friends. He died of pneumonia in 1998, at the age of 82. Leeds only briefly appeared on the show, making a cameo to have a conversation with Phoebe in Central Perk during the one with the lesbian wedding. Phoebe has been possessed by the spirit of his wife, who died on her massage table, and he informs her that she wanted to see everything before she died. Phoebe goes all over New York trying to put her spirit to rest, but it's not until Carol and Susan's wedding that Mrs. Abelman has, quote, seen everything. 4. Gretchen Weiler Although she appeared on many TV shows, including Charlie's Angels and Dallas, Gretchen Weiler's rise to prominence came on the stage, as she appeared on Broadway in six original productions in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, including Guys and Dolls and Bye Bye Birdie. Her lasting legacy, however, is her animal rights activism, founding the Genesis Awards, which honor media individuals doing outstanding work to raise public awareness of animal issues. In Friends, she played Mrs. Burkhart in The One with the Dirty Girl. She's the widow who hires Monica and Phoebe to cater for her husband's wake, but then turns on the waterworks when the subject of payment comes up. She got to show off her Broadway talents as well, singing and dancing when Monica was out of the room. 3. Dick Clark a legendary television personality who was the host of American Bandstand for 30 years, Dick Clark introduced new genres and artists to large parts of America, including rock and roll and the likes of Stevie Wonder and Simon and Garfunkel. He was also famous for hosting Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, which broadcast live from Times Square and created the American Music Awards. He died after a heart attack aged 82. He appeared as himself on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, he made the cameo in the show The One with the Monkey, which takes place on New Year's Eve as they watch his show on TV. However, he's more memorable for being referenced in The One with the Routine, although he doesn't actually appear. Monica and Ross get to go on his show, which, and not a lot of people know this, is taped in advance. And then the bit with Dick Clark is live from Times Square, giving us that incredible dance scene. 2. Charlton Heston Planet of the Apes, The Ten Commandments, Ben freaking her, Charlton Heston, who won an Oscar for his performance in the latter, was a bona fide movie icon of the old school archetype. He had a career spanning 60 years, in which time he appeared in over 100 films, including all those mentioned above, cementing his status as a true Hollywood star. He passed away in 2008 at the age of 84. When you're hiring Charlton Heston, it makes sense to have him play himself. He's the star of a movie that Joey has managed to land himself a part in, and it's his shower that Joey tries to use when he stinks. This leads to a great interchange between Heston and Joey, who is clad in just a towel at the time, when the former thinks the latter means his acting is bad, rather than he literally stinks, before a final switch when he goes from offering sage advice to threatening him about using his shower. It's a small scene, but he really makes his presence felt. 1. Robin Williams Robin Williams really doesn't require an introduction. One of the all-time great comedic actors, and an excellent serious one too, there was genuine shock and sadness when William passed away in 2014, aged just 63. After breaking through as a stand-up with rapid-fire improv skills, he broke into acting and went on to star in a number of critically acclaimed and beloved films, including Good Will Hunting, Aladdin, Dead Poets Society, Mrs. Doubtfire, Jumanji, and Hook, to name but a few. 
Williams and Billy Crystal appear in the one with the ultimate fighting champion, in one of the rare episodes where outsiders are sitting on the couch in Central Perk. They play Thomas and Tim respectively, who ask the friends to move along so they can share the couch, and then proceed to have a conversation about Thomas's belief that his wife is cheating on him. It's a funny scene, especially as the bewildered friends eavesdrop on their conversation, but made even better by the fact that it was totally unscripted. Williams and Crystal had been working on their movie Father's Day in the same building, so the producers asked if they wanted to make a cameo. They agreed and then ad-libbed the entire conversation, while Matt LeBlanc also improvised the part where he interrupts them. And to be fair, if you were sharing the screen with Robin Williams, you'd want to talk to him too. And there you have it folks, 12 friends actors who are sadly no longer with us. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop a comment down below with your own favourite friends moment or cameo performance. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.